one out of every 1,000 pregnancies results in a child being born without a complete brain or a complete skull. This condition is known as anencephaly and that is what I'll be talking about in today's video. Hi everyone, my name is Busari Moliayo. I am a registered nurse and a registered midwife. On this channel, I talk about nursing and healthcare. So if you're interested in that type of content, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon to get a notification whenever I drop another amazing video. All right, so let's talk about anencephaly. This word was gotten from the combination of two Greek words, an and encephalos. An means without, while encephalos refers to the brain. So this word directly means without brain. Anencephaly is a congenital condition that is characterized by absence of major portions of the brain, the skull, and the scalp. When a baby is developing in the womb, a structure called the neural tube, which acts as the brain and the spinal cord during the embryonic stage, is supposed to form and close up by the end of the first month of pregnancy. What happens in anencephaly is that the top portion of this neural tube does not close up. So the baby is born without a complete brain and a complete skull. So what causes anencephaly? The major cause of anencephaly has not been identified, but a major risk factor that researchers have been able to point out is vitamin B9 deficiency during the early stage of pregnancy. This is why it is important that women who are pregnant start their antenatal services very early and start taking their medications, which most times would include folate, folic acid, emetinics, and drugs to help their baby develop properly. Research has shown that this condition is more common among female infants and women who have given birth to children with anencephaly have a very high chance of giving birth to another baby with anencephaly. It can be diagnosed during a prenatal ultrasound scan. This scan is done during pregnancy and the scan image would show that the head of the baby does not have a complete brain or a complete skull. There will be an irregular shape obvious on the ultrasound scan and if a blood test is also done for the mother there would be elevated levels of a protein called afp that's alpha fetoprotein this protein is actually secreted by the liver and yolk sac of the fetus it has no function in an adult but whenever the levels of this protein is high in the mother's blood it means that there is a fetal distress this could indicate that the baby is in danger and they would have to do more tests probably an ultrasound like i earlier mentioned to be sure if the baby has anencephaly or not. Anencephaly has a lot of impact on the life of the babies. Sometimes they don't even survive to birth. And those that are born into the outside world usually do not live long because the brain is not properly formed to help them to survive outside the uterus. Usually they are born with the brain stem, so they are still able to breathe. They might still be able to respond to touch and sounds but usually they are blind and a lot of higher level functions that would be required to survive in the outside world are absent so most times they die within one to like five months however there has been the case of an american child called joaxin Bowell who passed away at age five he was born in august 2014 died april 2020 he survived with anencephaly for five years this is one of the longest recorded cases of a child born with anencephaly that actually lived long. Since folate deficiency is one of the major risk factors that have been identified to result in babies being born with anencephaly, folic acid supplementation is very important to prevent this. So if you know any pregnant woman, ensure they go for their antenatal sessions and they are consistent and compliant with their folic acid supplement. If you want to see my other videos, you can click here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!